So one time, the gods Odin, Loki, and Honir were out traveling when they came upon some oxen, and they decided to settle down and cook up some dinner. But strangely, no matter how long they cooked, the meat still came out raw. Huh, looks like someone's using a magic spell to prevent our food from cooking. Loki, are you up to some shenanigans? Ugh, why whenever mischief is afoot, you guys always look at me? Gee, I wonder why. Hey guys! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Don't worry, I'm just a giant talking eagle. It's fine, don't question it. I saw you had some tasty looking meat, so I was wondering if maybe I could have a share? And if we don't give you any, you'll keep using this magic to make us starve? Yep. <sighs> well, as a trickster god, I gotta respect the hustle. So Odin agreed to give the eagle a portion of their meal, and once he lifted his spell, the meat cooked right away. But Loki wasn't jazzed about sharing food, so they started whacking the eagle with a stick. But the eagle grabbed onto it and shot high up into the air with his assailant. Well, this is quite the pickle I've gotten myself into. I suppose this is where you reveal that you're actually a powerful Jotun and you're gonna force me into a vow of service in exchange for my life? Haha, <laughs> you got me. Yeah, I'm actually the Jotun Thiazi. Originally, all I wanted was some free steak, but since you so kindly inserted yourself into my pickle jar, uh, I'm gonna request that you lure the goddess Edun out of Asgard so I can kidnap her. And if I don't, I'll drop you and you'll turn into a flesh pancake. You drive a hard bargain, Thiazi, my man. The goddess Edun was the wife of the god Bragi and keeper of the golden apples, which granted the gods extended youth when eaten. She never left Asgard unaccompanied, but Loki, ever the schemer, came up with a plan to lure her into Thiazi's trap. Hey there, Edun, how's it going? Hi, Loki. You here for a bite of my apples? Actually, I'm good on that score. I found some apples that are even better than yours, uh, over in that secluded forest. You know, the one so far away and densely wooded that nobody in Asgard would be able to hear cries for help coming from there? You found some apples that are better than mine? Oh, we'll see about that. So Edun followed Loki into the forest, where Thiazi promptly swooped in to catch his prey. <laughs> So, we're good now, right? Yeah, we're square. Tight. And now with Edun missing, all the gods in Asgard began to grow old and feeble, so they assembled to discuss their predicament. Ah, jeez, I sure am old now. Yeah, me too. Ah, man. Uh, what are old people things? Uh, I lost my teeth. I, I can't hear things well. I need glasses to use my phone. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm looking as young as ever. Yeah, I have no idea where my wife went with her apples. Does anyone know who last saw Edun? Hmm, I don't know, but it sure seems like mischief is afoot. Shit, I did do it this time. And the gods politely requested for Loki to rectify the situation. So they borrowed Freya's falcon suit and flew over to Thiazi's home where Edun sat. Hey, so I'm really sorry you got caught up in all of this. I was kind of in a pickle. Thiazi threatened my life to help him take you, but now the Aesir are threatening me to steal you back, so here I am. Yeah, next time someone threatens your life, try dying. And so Loki turned Edun into a nut and flew off back to Asgard with her. But when Thiazi returned home and saw his prisoner was missing, he flew off in pursuit. When the gods saw Loki and Edun returning with Thiazi hot on their trail, they piled up some wood and lit it up as the Jotun passed through. Ah, jeez, I'm dead now. And now with Edun returned, the gods could once again feast on her apples to restore their youth. But they couldn't celebrate for too long because Thiazi's daughter, the Jotuness Skadi, soon arrived, seeking vengeance for her father's murder. The gods didn't want to deal with another conflict, so, as a gesture of peace, they decided to offer her some compensation for her loss. First, she was allowed to choose a husband from any of the gods, but she could only pick them based on their feet. She chose the prettiest pair of feet in the lineup, hoping they belonged to Baldur, the most beloved of the gods. But it turned out that she picked Njord. Another compensation the gods owed Scotty was to find a way to make her laugh. But this proved to be a more difficult task. And so the gods once again turned to Loki to solve their problem. Loki took a rope and tied one end to the beard of a goat and the other to their junk. Needless to say, what ensued was an absolute riot. The gods' final compensation for Scotty was to send her father Thiazi's eyes into the sky to become stars, so he could always watch over her. Wow, we sure had our ups and downs today. But you know, in the end, everything turned out just fine and all is forgiven. In fact, I for one feel like we've all become even closer friends than- Shut the, the f up, Loki. Loki.